Look at this down move on the two-day gold chart. We see one, two, three, three two-day candles, so that's six days, and we have a good trend line. We're connecting three candles. Remember, bottom up, top down, and what do we see? We see a break right here. Now, if you look on the two-day chart, if you were only using that chart, you wouldn't get in until there's a crossing on the MACD going up along with the derivative oscillator. However, as we like to do, if we go from this two-day chart to the four-hour chart, look at what we see when we pay attention to the two-day trend line, and all of a sudden, when we start seeing the crossover on this chart, and again, this is the two-day trend line, but we're looking at the four-hour chart, look what happens right when it turns around, bingo! We're seeing it start to roll over, and we see confirmation as it breaks through. That right there is your entry point. If not, back here with the MACD, but you know for sure, almost for sure, when something starts to break here and it's already crossed over on the MACD and the derivative oscillator, look, you don't have to know much about stocks at all, but when you see something this clear going from red down to green up and you see the blue crossing over the red, you don't have to know much. A kid could figure this out. It looks to you, to anybody, like you could see some major up movement. And guess what you saw? Went from, what is that, 110 all the way up to 115 That's $5 in anybody's book. That's a good move. Stock trading is not complicated if you pay attention to the signals and you practice, 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 and you learn some things that really count. The trend is your friend. Don't forget that.